आदाब जय हिंद जय भारत मैं मोहम्मद तौफीक बी टी एस न्यूज़ एंड टी चैनल में आपका इस्तेबाल करता हूँ आइए देखते हैं आज की ताज़ा खबर मैं नायर When we initiated a program that known as the Vice Chancellor Award for the best published paper, when the IIT director, former IIT director Ram Gopal Garu came here and the best published papers of our own colleagues, at that point of a time he said that do we have an alumni association? If anybody wanted to donate, do we have the structure? Then I, at that point of a time, there was no answer for me. But the last forty years, I've been in Osman University, 1983 to till today. I never had the opportunity to. But where are some departments like journalism and even now genetics science, other departments which are conducting regularly? Again, when I met Honorable Chancellor, Governor of Telangana. She asked me a fundamental question: How many alumni registered in Osman University? Then I found that only 1,200 registered in Osman University. I think at least one crore to be there in the alumni, but unfortunately only 1,200. Till today, but somehow I think the major source of inspiration. and intellectual input which we miss a lot in the last 100 years so at least now i think we have to focus on this alumni association when as soon as i took over then the american association of north american association of alumni conducted the zoom meeting meet and greet vice chancellor where they asked number of questions when i presented the vision of usman university That is known known as the Agenda 21 point, and that consists of the four I have already explained yesterday. Then they got some kind of a confidence. Where the university is also consists of the four pillars. The one of the main pillar is that the alumni. And one of the participants asked the question that, sir, we are working very hard, and we are. A working hard to get that one dollar from our bread and butter, or for the hard working which you are uh, getting this dollar. If we development of a radiation genetics project under the guidance of Professor O S Reddy in Veterinary College in 1961, with assistance of Department of Atomic Energy, Government of India. In 1964, the same was redesignated as Radio Biological Research Unit and was attached to the Department of Zoology. Since the Veterinary College was transferred to a newly created Andhra Pradesh Agricultural University, Rajendra Nagar, there was a rapid expansion in terms of staff and equipment in 1966, and a full-fledged Department of Genetics was thus established as an adjunct. to the department and animal house a thousand curie cobalt 60 source and an experimental farm general genetics radiation genetics plant genetics mutation breeding plant breeding environmental mutagenesis reproductive physiology methodology in laboratory animal uh, breeding cytology cell biology cytogenetics human genetics genetics of human diseases human population genetics quantitative genetics statistics biometry microbial and molecular genetics and immunogenetics and the list sir does not stop here it has been growing ever since then the its first of its kind in the traditional universities owes its debt of gratitude to former vice chancellor dr d s reddy who was responsible for its creation to dr ravana satyanarayana and mr n narottam reddy for its growth and st-